As we look back over the past six months of 2016, what we've seen is a period of tremendous volatility. We've seen one of the biggest sell-offs in global fixed income in history. Uh, the portfolio being globally diversified, being able to identify those pockets of the market which hold up well and are resilient even in the face of rising rates, has actually outperformed the benchmark over this period of volatility. Uh, 2016, in fact, reminds us a lot of 2013. In 2013, you had a U.S.-led sell-off in rates. Uh, it was a tough year for fixed income, but what it did was, on a global basis, open up opportunities for us to attack and actually led to a very strong following year we look for the same experience in 2017. The portfolio continues to maintain a high quality, mostly developed market exposure. Uh, where we find value today is in still parts of the inflation markets globally, in US, in Japan, and in Europe. Uh, we continue to find value in countries such as Australia, New Zealand, countries where low inflation, low growth, and in some cases support of the central banks will keep yields low, even if yields in North America continue to rise. Uh, we find value in select emerging markets, uh, namely countries such as Brazil, Indonesia, parts of Eastern Europe. Uh, and while we have some credit exposure in the portfolio, we are towards the lower end of our credit exposure as valuations have become tight uh, and we've seen a very big rally in, in credit. So there is opportunity for the portfolio to add to credit in the face of weakness if we see it over the course of 2017. Looking ahead to 2017, we recognize that we head into this year on the back of tremendous asset performance and risky assets, but also a lot of uncertainty. Uh, uncertainty exists over the first, particularly six months of the year with respect to U.S. policy. Uncertainty exists within China and the response uh, of the government there uh, with respect to capital outflows and continuing pressure on the currency. And of course, uncertainty exists with respect to political events, which is going to be a heavy calendar in Europe. Uh, what we're aiming to do in the strategy is continue to be able to deliver strong returns even in the face of sell-offs in risky assets, such as the ones that we saw at the beginning of 2016. Um, the way we do this is to, again, identify high-quality parts of the market um, and really focus our attention there. And currently, we do find those values um, existing in certain parts of the market, not necessarily um, just in corporate credit, but we see a lot of those potential opportunities in the inflation-linked markets in parts of the emerging markets. But I think this is going to be a year of more volatility. Um, we've seen that central banks have expressed a willingness to let inflation overshoot in the near term. Uh, and we think we'll see some of that on the back of stable commodity prices. And that's a new dynamic that we haven't seen before. So inflation-linked securities will help us in this. But more importantly, I think we need to be, um, again, focused on being resilient in the face of what could be a much more choppy year in 2017. As in past years, the portfolio is going to be tactical. Um, we are going to look for opportunities to, to move out of sectors, to move out of countries. Um, and I think that's going to be a much more important factor in 2017.